Hey folks, Chris here with the Crab Apple Cottage. Today I wanted to do another Dollar Tree prepping and homesteading haul. I haven't done one of these since before they changed their prices to $1.25. I'd kind of been given uh, the Dollar Tree some time to get themselves figured out, get in any new products that they might be getting in, um, get some of the spring stuff in. So I did make a trip. Um, I actually was going specifically for the boxed milk because um, current events have made me want to um, stock up on some more of my basics. So I did go specifically for the boxed milk, but I decided to take a look while I was there, and I'm glad I did. So let me show you what I got. All right, we'll start it off with food. I did uh, find four more of those boxes of the Gosner Shelf Stable Milk. You guys, this stuff is great. We've got quite a bit of powdered milk that we get from the food pantry, and I made a picture of it the other day because we were out of regular milk. Um, and the taste between the powdered milk and this, there is no comparison. This stuff tastes almost, if not just like fresh milk. It's great. Whereas the powdered stuff, I find it to be um, too sweet. And so it's not, I don't think it's good in certain dishes. I think it makes things taste too sweet. Like if you use it in mac and cheese or something like that. So we've been using it on cereal, protein shakes, chocolate milk, things that we really don't need. Because it's just too sweet, I think, to add to other things. But this stuff, you guys, is fabulous. So if you don't already have the Gosner's Shell Stable Milk, go get you some. They have it 1%, 2%, and whole milk. So we did pick up four of those. And I might add that those are the only four boxes cartons that they had. Um, so we got that. I did pick up another bag of rice. It's kind of one of those um, instinctual things when I go to the Dollar Tree, I pick up a bag of rice. The two pound bag is a good deal. It's about the same price you can get it at Walmart for. I've also been trying to stock up on some more quick meals that would be good for like lunches on the run sort of thing. We do love these chicken salads. I only picked up two, but um, when I get paid again, I probably will go back and get a lot more. These are really great for a quick lunch. We are planning to do some traveling and camping this summer. So those are a great thing to like throw in your backpack, that sort of thing. I also picked up this yellow popcorn. Now, I generally do microwave popcorn or pre-popped popcorn. My father makes excellent popcorn on the stovetop, and um, I haven't bothered to learn how because he just does such a good job, and whenever I want popcorn like that, I just go over to his house and get it. But um, I picked up this popcorn because I have a grain mill that I purchased last fall that I have not busted out yet. So uh, I understand that you can take popcorn and you can actually grind it in a grain mill and make corn flour or corn meal. So that's a project I'm going to do. So I got myself a little bag of popcorn for $1.25 to test out. Um, I'll probably do a video on that when I do the, the grain mill. I'm also planning to plant some various types of dent corn and that sort of thing this summer so that I can have corn to grind into cornmeal. I also picked up four more bags of those dehydrated, sorry, freeze-dried fruit. My son really likes these. If I can keep them away from him, I'll put them in my prepper pantry, but we'll see. Um, got some Hungry hungry Jack au gratin potatoes. I was looking for things that I could use with my canned meats. So I have a lot of canned ham, and a can of ham and some au gratin potatoes um, are awesome. Awesome addition for a quick prepper pantry meal. I also got a couple of large cans of whole potatoes. Again, we like those. They actually make a pretty good mashed potato. Um, picked up some coconut milk to make some curries with our all of the rice that we have on hand. Uh, and I'm also looking for alternate dairy and protein sources. So, so I picked up this nacho cheese sauce. I thought that might be good to make um, sort of a taco or a nacho or something like that. I have taco seasoning, but cheese is one of those things that's really hard to store. Um, you can get freeze-dried cheese, but it's, I think it's pretty expensive. So this is just a quick way to have cheese that, you know, it's yeah, it's not fresh shredded cheddar cheese, but it's still going to give you that, hopefully meet that cheese craving that you might have. So I picked up some nacho cheese sauce for $1.25. I also picked up this can of chicken uh, tamales in chili sauce. I do, again, I just was looking for something different that we could serve with rice. So I'm going to give those a chance, give those a try, see if we like them. If we like them, we'll get more. If not, we won't buy them again. That's how it is. Picked up some more baking soda. Everybody told me when I was complaining about how long it takes to cook beans. Everyone's like, soak your beans. Soak them with baking soda. They, they will cook so much faster. So I picked up some more baking soda. Dollar Tree, I think they have it for 69 cents a box, which is comparable to Walmart. I also picked up these uh, chicken enchilada soup mixes, um, which is kind of funny. They don't really have chicken in them or anything. It's just kind of the flavoring packet. But they on the back, the recipe says to use a can of diced tomatoes, cup of milk, water, and a can of 
diced chicken. So this is actually good for a prepper pantry meal, right? Can of chicken, can of diced tomatoes, some powdered milk or some box stable um, box milk. Boom, there is a hearty meal. So I picked up two of those to add to our prepper pantry. Of course, you would I would probably add rice to this to stretch it out and make it more filling. Okay, let's see. Oh, nor pasta sides. Yes, Alfredo. I did a whole video on a prepper pantry meal that I use, uh, make chicken Alfredo with this these sides. We loved it. My son loved it. I loved it. So once you taste something and you like it, and it works for you, go back and get more. So that's what we did. I also picked up some more of these small containers of mayo. Um, I've I talked about these in another video. They're not like the best deal money-wise, but if you don't have refrigeration, um, they're a really great way to open up mayo and make chicken salad with your canned chicken and not have to refrigerate the leftovers because pretty much that's one serving worth of mayonnaise. So I have been buying those. What I found is, some of those larger packages, like, we you know, we get the big cans of, like, canned meat. Um, they're great if you have a big family, but we're a family of two. And honestly, I'm afraid that some of those cans will open them up and we won't be able to use it all before it goes bad, especially if there's no refrigeration and it's, like, summertime or something like that. So I'm trying to focus on smaller containers of food. Okay, so food preservation. I picked up some of these um, stickers. I found these there before, like, maybe a year ago, and I picked up a sheet of them. And I haven't seen them. I've been looking for them, and I haven't seen them. But these are really great to mark your jars, especially if you're going to be doing something where you want to give a gift and you want it to look a little nicer. You can use, like, a white Sharpie or something like that or a chalkboard marker on it. So I picked up a few sheets of those. They have a couple different styles. Really great for giving gifts, um, can home canned goods, that sort of thing. Guys, they have canning lids at Dollar Tree. Now, I don't know if I would trust these canning lids for, like, pressure canning or anything like that, but... Um, they're a great solution for dehydrated goods, especially if you want to vacuum seal your canisters or like vacuum seal your canisters of rice or beans or flour or something like that. Um, if the seal doesn't hold, your food probably won't go bad. Um, but, you know, versus canned goods where it definitely will go bad if the seal doesn't hold. So I got three packages of these. I got three or ten pieces for $1.25. I'm going to give them a shot with my dehydrated goods and my vacuum sealer. I also picked up this little um, thing of paintbrushes. There were five in the pack. I actually took one out. I use these when I dehydrate powders. Um, and I talk about that in my dehydrating video where I dehydrate, I think, mushroom powder. Um, you can use it to brush the powder out of the crevices of your grinder and that sort of thing. And it's a way to kind of get it all without getting the powder everywhere. So that's a really great little tool if you do any dehydrating of powders. Um, let's see. Okay. So fire. They have these... Um, canned heat back in stock. They haven't had them for a long time. I suspect that probably they were too expensive to sell at a dollar, and so they stopped stocking them, but as soon as the price went up to $1.25, they got them back in stock. So um, I have actually a whole tub of them, and I had a spot for two more, so I picked up two more of those canned heat. Those are really great with a... Um, a fondue pot or something like that or a chafing dish you put one of those underneath it and you can warm up canned soup or something really quickly pick up a couple more boxes of matches the big matches and one of the big lighters and this is new I haven't seen this before this is um, a candle snuffer with a little hinged end now you may say oh why do you need a candle snuffer because you can just blow out a candle yes that is true however I have been around a lot of candles um, I work in a museum where we burn a lot of candles and sometimes when you blow the candles out you can splatter wax everywhere. Uh, my son one time tried to blow a candle out and somehow ended up breaking the glass jar by the heat, or I don't know how he did it, but the, the heat difference between his breath and I don't know what it was, but it shattered the jar. Um, and also some types of candles, um, like if you have them mounted in something and hanging up high so that you can like see, like we have a lot of chandelier candles um, or candle chandeliers at the museum and you can't blow them out. They're just too tall. So you need a... Um, a candle snuffer. So I picked that up for $1.25. Uh, these cotton balls and this petroleum jelly I picked up because I want to do a video on fire, various types of fire starters and tinder. So I'm going to do a video on those. So I grabbed those. Um, I did notice that these bags seem to be a bit smaller than they have in the past. Everything is shrinking. Okay, so let's see. This, these are little thimbles. I got a three pack of thimbles for $1.25. I do some uh, cross stitch and a little bit of sewing and Thimbles are actually super, super useful. They're actually really useful, too, when I'm cracking black walnuts because the ends of my fingertips get torn up by the black walnut shells, which are really, really rough. And so if I actually wear those, 
um, on my fingers when I'm holding the black walnuts. Um, they, they don't get torn up so badly. I actually in the past have put band-aids on my fingertips to try to keep them from getting torn up. So instead I'm going to use these finger protectors. So those are going to be really good for my foraging. Okay, I picked up this wound care kit. I have seen these in other videos, other Dollar Tree hauls, and I was so jealous, you guys. So I've been waiting for these to come in stock. Um, it only, so it costs $1.25, right? But it, you get so much for $1.25. So, like, you can buy packs of gauze, things of tape, um, stuff like that. But you get all of this. Hold on, let me, let me put this down and you get this out. Okay, so this wound care kit, and they only had one, by the way, so I, and it was a little beat up, but I picked it up because it was the only one they had. So it has 20 different items in it. It's got two of these gauze rolls. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I love the gauze rolls from Dollar Tree, um, but they're a dollar a piece, and here I got two for a dollar. I got a little roll of tape, and then a variety of gauze pads in all sizes, including the really big sizes. So guys, that is a really good deal for $1.25. If you see these wound care kits, pick those up. That is a must have for your preps. Another must have for your preps are these um, dental repair kits. These are $1.25. I did pick some up back when they were a dollar, um, but these are to, these are temporary repairs for lost fillings or cracked teeth or something like that. Really great to have in your emergency dental kit. So I did pick up three more of those as well as some more chapstick. I love my chapstick. Um, over here, I picked up a composition book for $1.25 to write down my garden notes. So last year I kept, well actually last two years, I kept a notebook, um, again from the Dollar Tree, of all the things like when I planted seeds, how things turned out, how much produce I got out of my garden, how much it weighed, how many jars of tomato sauce I made, um, things I would do differently, that sort of thing. And it has been invaluable. I can look back at that and be like, oh, last year I planted my potatoes on March 15th and it was too early or something like that. And so it's really, really great. And my other book was full. So um, I picked up this composition book for $1.25 for my garden journal. I also found this tool. Normally I stay away from the garden tools at the Dollar Tree because they're pretty janky. But I've never seen a tool shaped like this. You know, you usually have the little garden rake, the little three prong rakes that are like that um, for digging. But this is really nice for like sewing things in rows or like flipping it over and smoothing out the soil if you're going to plant something like carrots or something like that. And I thought, heck, for $1.25, you know, something I've never seen, um, I'm not going to be doing heavy-duty digging with it. It's going to be mostly surface work. So I picked that up. I'm going to see how that's going to, how useful that's going to be in the garden this spring. And then this, guys, is probably my favorite item, which is kind of funny. I have been looking for a really long time for a medicine dropper so that I can um, measure out bleach. So one of the ways to purify water is to use drops of bleach. And I can't remember the the um, ratio, but it's like three drops of bleach per gallon. Or don't, don't quote me on that. I don't remember what it is. But you are supposed to have drops. And I have been looking everywhere for a medicine dropper. I have looked at... Um, I've asked pharmacies like CVS, they didn't have them. I've asked Walmart pharmacy. I've gone through the medicine aisles in various stores. I looked at Dollar Tree, the baby aisle, nothing. I finally found these guys, and these are even better than I could hope for. They're glass. Okay, a glass bottle with a screw cap lid, and built into the lid is a glass dropper. You guys, you can put your bleach straight in here and have a ready-made way to carry small amounts of bleach and dispense it in the proper amount. Like, awesome. Two for a dollar twenty-five. This is so exciting because, I, like I said, I had really been looking for some sort of medicine dropper, and I didn't think I would find one in glass, especially in a little bottle like this. Like this is so awesome for preps, guys. So there you go. That's what I got at this Dollar Tree haul. It's not a super super big haul, um, but I was feeling the pressure with the way things are going in the international community right now. I was feeling the pressure to go out and just pick up a few extra preps, another box of matches, you know, another little bit of rice, a little bit more milk. Just, you know, you got to check. You got you to gotta check those preps, fill those holes. Just keep going, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.